Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out a request from Hestia is Bestia. You know, the one that made the co-op map that took Nock and I multiple hours. Uh, they did not make this map, they just requested it. This map is Flutter by Almesufre. I think that's how you say it. That's- that's how I'm going to say it. And five of my friends have added it to their favorites, so it's probably very good. How to make sure that GLaDOS will nod at your science. Here's a chamber inspired by two others. Visible by Goat, and Paralyzert by Jada. If you need hints to solve it, testing them should help. But it's not required, though. Logical and hopefully nice solution. No special skill needed. Thanks for playing, Splash! Exclamation point. Did I say Splash? I meant space. Anyway, let's get started. Ooh, I like how that looks. Hello. Hello, YouTube. A lot of light on that side. We just have a regular old gap that we need a light bridge for. Interesting. Alright. Let's press this button and get this regular cube and put this regular cube on this regular floor panel. And then with this regular floor panel, maybe... Maybe... Ah! Ah! I made a map that required this mechanic. Not too long ago, in fact. Actually, it is a long time ago. I think it was last year. Yeah. Let's see if this still works the way I remember it does. Yes! So... That's a spoiler for one of my maps. I will not say which one. Nock and Deathwish know which one it is. Uh, Rectorox also knows which one it is, but... As for the rest of you... You'll have to find out on your own. Right, so now... We can do this. Alright, what do we have through here? The real map! Introduction room, just like my map. That's cool. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of complexity to this. I think my map had slightly less complexity than this. We. All right, well, that's enough of that. Oh, there's an- oh, never mind. I thought there was an upper area, but there's not. So there's our exit requirement, right here. That's how we get out of here. Cube on button. What do we have? Ha 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 Oh, Val, how could you? Well, if you ever needed any proof that the ray tracing for the funnel is at the center of the funnel, there you have it. <laughs> oh, Lazy Valve. Can't get up there just yet. Oh, what do we have here? What is this now? Eh! Sideways. Excuse me, good sir, I do believe that's a portal placement helper. What? Hang on, which is upside down? That or... That or this? Okay, this is- this is not what I expected. Okay, so that's apparently right side up. This is right side up, and this is upside down. I'm not- not entirely sure why, just yet. We can try that. Oh, I didn't- did not even see that- that was across from that. That was... pure chance, actually. I wanted to go in there, but I guess now I'll go up. Alright, now I'm up here, what does this do? Hey, that gets me a laser cube. Excellent. I wonder... Kinda? There we go! That's how you break a monitor! I've actually, according to Team Spin, uh... Turrets will only shoot the monitors if Wheatley is on the monitor, which is a cool detail. I like that.
I get bonus points for that, right? That- that adds to my- my score? This is a daily challenge, isn't it? I didn't get ship scan in this map, did I? <laughs> ah, okay. Actually, I do want to go in here now. What is this about? We have a little, little bit of a lineup runway here. What is- what is that about? I guess we will find out shortly, perhaps. Perchance. Yeah, what is this? Why would I want that? Oh, I know exactly why we want that. So, what happens here? Funnel pushes the cube... ...against this, which aims the laser at that, which disables the fizzler. Okay, then. I can set that up, I believe. Yeah, I think if I just do that... Theoretically, that should be enough. Ech! Let me through, please. There we go. This little thin gap. Very claustrophobic for some people. Will this work on the first try? Oh, it's only the upper half. Or the upper two thirds, rather. Hmm. What good does that do me, though? I suppose if I went, actually, into the funnel first... ...then... ...then... ...that might allow me to shoot... Yes! But where? Would I want to shoot there? Or would I want to shoot there, is the question. I don't think this funnel turns off, right? So if I shoot in there, I'm basically just... ...trapped. Oh, but I could drop out before going through the portal, and then portal in here. And then I could have a cube in here. Although I'm not entirely sure how useful that is. Also, I just realized I can actually get down there right now, if I wanted to. In fact, let's, let's explore down here while we're at it. Where is this? Where am I now? This is a whole other area that I didn't even realize ex existed. Well, I did realize it existed, I just didn't really... Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Does this sizzler turn off? It appears the answer is no. So this light bridge is what's stopping us, it would seem. Although, how would I get up here? Hmm. Alright, well. Back to the original plan, please. Portal. Oh, that startled me. And portal. And portal. And portal. And portal. See, this game's all about shooting portals. What is going on with the ground here? I guess that's because of that. Huh. Probably just didn't want people to do any weird, funky stuff by portaling underneath that. Alright, well, let's take this cube in here. And maybe this cube will enlighten us about what to do next. Oh, Isn't that a bit of a conundrum? I think for now, I'm going to put the cube... Well, I can't actually put it in the funnel, so I'll just leave it here for now. Yeah, stay there, cube. And what can we do about this? We can actually see that from in here, so that's something to take note of. Hmm. I 
don't think there's a way to do that without portals, though, so... We have to, though. This is portalable, so... I definitely have to do it. Or... Or... The alternative... ...is that I juggle myself somewhere. But where would I juggle myself? Can't see that from here. I mean, you can see it visually, but I can't actually shoot it from here. Yeah, so what purpose does this serve? Hmm... I think what I really should have done... ...is portal out here... ...when I had the cube all set up. Hmm... Hmm... Alright, well let's put the cube back. We'll figure this out in a different manner, perhaps. Alright. Cube placement... reacquired. Eh, there we go, that's- that's good enough. Good enough for me. Alright, so. I'll do this. Except this time... Yeah, there we go, let's try that instead. Perhaps that is actually what we want to do. Ah oh, yes, we can even take the cube with us. How nice. And evidently we can take the cube back out, too. Ah, come on now. I wanna get the cube down here. You know you want to. There we go. Cube's down there. Now we can do this. And... Nope, crap. Ha! Nope, can't see that. Can't do that. Hmm. We could juggle ourselves, but to what avail? Yeah, cause I need to do that in order to proceed. The cube is just... there now. That's not really useful, by any means. I wanna be on the other side of the light bridge. Like, even if we juggled ourselves and placed the portal there, we wouldn't be able to go INTO the portal. Even if we had a portal here... So... it would be mostly useless to us. Yeah, we can't put like- can't like... shine it through the glass and point the laser cube somewhere, so that's out of the question. The question is, where, or even at all, do we need to use the technique that we learned in the first room of this map? Because that seemed like an introduction room, to introduce you to the concept of the rest of the map, but so far we haven't needed to do that again. We could, like, toggle bootstrap the laser... ...by putting the cube at the right height, and then the funnel would constantly move it up and down. But it would rotate the cube over time, and it's not entirely useful because we still need both portals in both of these places. That's not really useful to us other than for... 
hitting GLaDOS. This is not too useful. So then what are we supposed to do? It's like I can't position the cube in a way that it'll go across the barrier on its own. And I eventually have to go there myself. We also need a funnel. Pretty sure that funnel does not reverse, so we have to use that funnel at the exit. I think though with the grating that we should be able to just see the funnel. Let me- let me double check real quick. So if we're standing here... Ah yeah, okay, so I can easily do that. Don't need to worry too much about that. So really we just need to get in there, with the cube, and then we're done. So the entire trick right now, is how to activate this, from where we currently are. It's not the same height as that, so that's out of the question. Decorative, I suppose. And like I said, if we actually shoot on there, we're out of luck. It will turn on the funnel, which will suspend us, at least, but... Having the funnel turn on... ...isn't very helpful. Plus, we'd need a portal in there, first of all. I don't think juggling myself is useful at all in this map right now. Or ever, really. Have I missed a step? Haha, <laughs> so the reason that laser is centered instead of on the ground... It's not just because of this, this is actually probably part of a workaround, but it's actually because they don't want you to put the laser cube on the ground and tilt it through the portal to point at that. Yeah, that is very intentionally designed to prevent you from... tilting and uh, angling a laser through a portal in a way they don't intend. This is very carefully designed.
Thing is, in order to go back a step, I have to put the cube back on- on there. And then I have to figure out what step I forgot to do. And I'm not even- I'm not even sure what step it was I forgot to do. Like, we come out of this portal, floating up on the blue laser, uh, blue funnel. And then, like, if we were to shoot that... ...wouldn't help us, really. We can't see that from the angle of being over there. Do I somehow need to keep a portal in, in there? To, like, launch myself back into this funnel or something? I don't really see how that's feasible, because that funnel never turns off. That seems infeasible to me. We definitely need to lift ourselves up with the funnel. I feel like I'm so close, but I'm- I don't understand what I'm missing here. I guess I'll be right back. So, yeah. Okay, so, I've been thinking, what is- what is this for? When would we use that? So that's what I'm gonna try and find out right now. We're gonna have to back step a little bit. Put this in place again. There we go. And... Yeah, at this point we can just go- we can go either way, it doesn't really matter. Cause I- I wasn't sure whether we needed to fling ourselves up here like this, or the cube up here like this. Either would work. The question is which one? Cause either ourselves or the cube or both can go this way, and either ourselves or the cube or both can go this way. It's not entirely clear to me what one we need to do. But... I can at least- Try some different things, right? So if we do this, we can lift the cube up, raise it nice and high, and then, supposedly, maybe we even have to catch it, I don't know. Yeah, we have to catch it, okay. Right, well then. That- that is what I would consider a special skill, personally. Just so you know. That's what I would call a ninja mo move, because it's a bit of a ninja grab. The game is generous with the timing, but still. Alright. Portal here, portal there, walk in the funnel. There we go. Get it all the way up there. Come on, really? That seems so intentional. That really does seem like what I'm supposed to do. But then it still leaves me with the question of how do we actually get to the exit ourselves? Apparently we lost the music permanently and I can't get it back. Yeah, my music keybind is doing nothing. 
That's unfortunate. Hey, finally! Ta-da! Okay, now what? How do we get to the exit now? I mean, we have portals in, in places. But having portals in places is not entirely so useful right now. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't do much good. And I can't get into the funnel without losing my portal in one of these places. That does nothing. Yeah, there's no point to doing that. So... Now what? <laughs> like, I still feel like I'm doing stuff out of order somehow. So, the other thing... <laughs> that, uh... If we don't want portals in both places, we could just get the cube in here, and we can portal the cube down there ourselves, and we can literally place it up on the ledge here... ourselves. But that means that we have a portal in here and a portal down there, which means we don't have a portal in both places, so I'm pretty sure it's not desirable to do that. Maybe this grating is not designed for me to catch the cube, maybe it's just here for me to shoot portals through it? I don't know at this point, I'm so confused. Yep, that's... that's not helpful, really. Alright, well. Yep, that definitely turns off the light bridge, but... I'm not... I can't get in there. This, those fizzlers don't turn off. I could juggle myself, but to no avail. Alright, well... I'll be right back again. Okay, I just did something hilarious that I have to replicate here in a moment here. Let me- let me do this again, that was absolutely hilarious what just happened there. Yeah, look how slowly I'm descending, I'm not even dying. <laughs> like, I didn't get it so dead center last time, but I was like... It was, like, fizzling me every second, and I was just descending at, like, such a sluggish rate. Why does it not kill me, though? That's strange. I almost want to use that in the map. That's, like, one of those weird things that I've been adding to a list. Along with the- the light bridge slowdown thing. Anyway, back to thinking. Wow. GLaDOS laughs at you for being op being able to open the exit, but not actually being able to get there. That is a cool detail. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. Back to thinking. Alright. I just thought of something that might work. We're gonna try it out ooh, right about now-ish. Perhaps. Per, per se. So let's see, if we do... Oh, that's not actually what I wanted to do. Let's try this again, please. All the way back, please. Not quite what I wanted to do, but... Let us... Let's try this. Nope, yeah, it disables too quickly. 
I was thinking... Maybe... There's a way... Alright, that's in here now. And now that that's in here, we can... juggle ourselves? Perhaps? Well, this isn't too good. <laughs> now... I can't actually do what I wanted to do. Now I'm just stuck in here. Okay, well. So much for that plan. Wee. Yeah, no good there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, it's easy enough to get the cube in here, but not much to do about that afterwards. As can be clearly demonstrated. Yeah, we can totally just do this. We Get up there. Not useful, though. Back to scheming. So... if we do that... Theoretically... We can grab the cube here, right? Whee! Hello, cube. What good does that do us, though? I see no good coming from this. I'm just up here with the cube now. And I could've done that a long time ago by just grabbing the cube as I fell down. So that's not really different. The map name is Flutter, but I don't see how I would flutter. I'm not Yoshi. You can't do infinite flutter glitch, unless you're playing Super Mario Galaxy 2. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm... Alright, back to scheming. Alright. Next thing I wanna try is that bootstrap thing I was talking about. So, to begin... Portal there. Portal there. Aim the cube. Portal there. Yeah, that's my best guess for what to do. It's bootstrapped, but... Problem is, it's not useful in any way. It's certainly fluttering, though. But it is not at all useful. At least not in any way that I can perceive. Yeah, I can't even get up here. I just keep getting burned over and over again. Doesn't stay on long enough. To lift. Yep. Well, it's fluttering, for sure. But that's not at all useful. Huh. Well... It's back to the drawing board. Wait, just a second. We can juggle the cube while standing on this platform, right? And then shoot the portal there and there. That's why that's aim assisted, perhaps. Maybe. Also, I saw a comment from Deathwish. It said he was goofing around with the cube, which helped him solve the, the puzzle, and I thought, hmm... I'm gonna consider that as me taking a hint. So... Let us... let's let us set this back up the way it should be tomato. Give me this cube. Give me this cube, come on. Let me in here and give me this cube. I will box this cube right where it always normally goes. Why is the laser burning me today? I mean... This time. It's still the same day. Why did I say today? It wasn't burning me earlier when I would back up against here. Who knows? Alright, so... Then we... head on through here. Do this. Rectorock style. 
Kerblam. Kerblam. Yada yada yada. Kerblam. Yada yada yada. So we're back here now. We can do this just for convenience, even though it's completely not necessary at all. It's just easier to do it this way. Weeeeeee. Alright, so. This is aim assisted. Which has me incredibly suspicious that this is exactly what I'm supposed to do. The fact that these are both aim assisted. I think they're aim assisted into the same orientation, in fact. So that holding the cube in this direction here would make it come out facing the same direction there. So. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, so we've got that now. That at least toggles this so that we can walk through there. And then I suppose... I guess that's what the ramp thing is for, but it never seems like it's enough? Oh well, let's- I guess let's try. That isn't science. What do you mean, that isn't science, GLaDOS? <laughs> Alright. So now... The question is getting the cube to us, right? And this is not gonna launch it close enough at all. Can't even- yeah, I can't even pick it up from here. That's no good. I suppose we could give it more thrust by portaling here first, right? That's the next thing to try. But even so, when we had it at the maximum height, it would always hit the ceiling and bounce too low and never really make it. I guess there's- I guess that the ledge is there for us to catch it? Perhaps? Perhaps. That isn't science. So if we do that... Wait a moment. And then... And then we do this. Supposedly we can catch it? Oh yeah, that almost looks like it might have made it. But other times we tried it, it, it didn't even come close to making it here. Huh. Alright, well, we're done. That was a cool puzzle, I like that. Although... Some aspects of it were kind of... strange. Wait, wait, GLaDOS laughs every time no matter what? Alright, fair enough, I suppose. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!